parabolic flights are performed on the A300 CRG aircraft on three consecutive flight days of 30 parabolas each. It's November 2011 and this time we have nine experiments on board in both life and physical sciences. Yeah, the uh, idea is to, to have a, a small, easy to use device that is able to detect structural changes in the muscle. Um, for example, to de detect an overtraining, whether a muscle is in a good shape or a muscle is in a bad shape. And uh, the aim is to find a tool that is able to do that within seconds. So uh, what this device does, it gives, it gives a small mechanical input to the muscle and the muscle starts oscillating and the device is recording the oscillation of the muscle and is able to see, uh, to detect the flexibility of the muscle and the stiffness of the muscle by analyzing the oscillation patterns. So what the device does is it, gets a, it gives a small mechanical input to the muscle and the muscle starts to oscillate and the device is recording the oscillation of the muscle and is able to analyze the muscle stiffness and the muscle flexibility by analyzing these oscillations. And the muscles we are testing is the, at first the gastrocnemius because we, that's the muscle where we experience the, the, the most uh, loss of uh, muscle mass while living under permanent microgravity. And secondly, we got the erector spina, the, the, the long back muscle, uh, which plays an important role in stabilizing the body. Well, well, finally, we hope that this device will help people to, to monitor and to supervise their exercise programs. Um, it gives you op opportunity to, to analyze the shape of the muscle in a, in a very, uh, very quick time um, and therefore might be used on the ISS in in, in training and exercise science in a clinical setting or with, with patients suffering from, from muscle sleep diseases. <laughs>